Hello. I want to show a new feature that is currently in beta. Um, for a long time, getting table data has been a little bit of a pain uh, in browsers, anywhere, but especially in browsers. Um, so I'm testing out a new feature where the robot will detect if you are clicking inside a table. And if you do, it will add a get table activity to the workflow. Um, so for instance, here I have a relatively simple uh, table with a lot of data and getting this would take a couple of minutes to set up inside OpenRPA before this uh, feature. But now I can click record, I can click in one of the fields and it adds a get table. This will contain a X path to where that table is and nothing else. And then the extension, the Chrome extension, will try and auto detect how to grab the data from that table. Um, so if I run this now, I get all the, the data from, from, uh, yeah, from the table that I just clicked. Um, sometimes tables can be a little tricky. So for instance, here I have some uh, check marks. Um, so the problem here is actually multiple things. So first of all, um, this these check mark things down here is actually in a TH instead of a TD, which it would normally be. Um, and I don't have a label for the check mark, um, but it still works kind of. Um, so it detects it. And if I run it, you can see that I get cell one because I don't have a name and I get false, false, false. And if I toggle one of these, I get true. And if I toggle one more, I get true, true, false and, and, and so on. So that seems to be working. Um, the data that I'm getting back is actually being passed. So it's trying to intelligently figure out what type it is. And that is then what you have inside the data table. So this is why this is converted to false or true, which is Excel's way of showing that this is a Boolean that can be tricky with numbers, right? So for instance, right now I'm running in US English. So if I go to a page with Danish numbers, it won't really know how to understand those. Um, and that means that I get back this as text. Um, if I change my regional settings to Danish, that will work again. But right now you will need to pass this yourself to figure out that this is a float or a double. Um, a different thing is that not all tables are made of table tags and TH and TDs. Sometimes they're made of divs. Um, <clears throat> A lot of people will be using bootstrap or similar frameworks where you use specific tag names like uh, row and column. And based on that, it will try and detect if you click the table. So if it is that, it will detect it and try and figure, you know, assume it's a table and it can then grab this. So in case this table here just contains a lot of X's, so it's not really pretty, but you know, it, it gets the job done, right? Um, so it, it will work with relatively basic tables using the common classes with row and, and column and, and so on. Um, since one of the most common things you would test if you want to test uh, something like grabbing data from, from, from a web page would be a Google search, right? And Google doesn't really comply to any of those things. Um, so they specifically added something for Google searches. It might not work in all countries, but it works for me. So, you, you know, try it out if you want. So if I go inside here and I search for uh, OpenAPI uh, and I click anywhere inside here. Okay, maybe not anywhere. <laughs> if I click in one of the results, it detects, um, again, a table. And if I run it, it will use the special Google code for finding Google search results and give back title, URL, and description for each of the results. Um, so that means that you can now search for anything. So if I want the new iPhone, I could, you know, get that instead, right? Um, yeah, 
I hope this helps and I'm looking forward to some feedback and troublesome tables and, and special layouts that I can maybe adapt this to also work with. So uh, yeah, good luck.